What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Target Exclusive Legends WWE Ultimate Edition Rock figure. Now this figure is Target Exclusive and I do believe starting tomorrow you can pick this up at your Target stores. Now I did have an online transaction with a gentleman and I was able to obtain this figure here. But I'm excited to finally have this figure, man. If you guys saw our toy hunt, we were rejected of this figure and that was a pain and suffering moment. If you guys missed that toy hunt, definitely go check that out on the channel. But here we are back today, man, and I'm so excited for this figure. It looks like such an upgrade from his last Ultimate Edition of this era of Rock. And we have some new stuff going on with this figure. It looks amazing. I can't wait to get into it with you, man. But anyways, here's your front viewing window. Of course, this is Target exclusive, like I said. And I do believe tomorrow it, it is the street date, the official street date. So you can grab it at your Target stores, man. But here is the front viewing window. Looking pretty damn good. You got his track suit in there. I remember when we first saw this figure back at WrestleMania. I think it was the Superstore. It looked incredible there. But it is store exclusive. That's why the main box color is red. And then it does have its white accents and whatnot. But at the the top it does say the Brock. Of course, Ultimate Edition Mattel. On the side, you get a nice shot of the, the people's eyebrow right there, the raised eyebrow. And then, of course, you have a shot of the talent there. Legends, The Rock, and then you do get a little product shot and then some different bio. You got some bio read down here. Opposite side, it says The Rock, and that is pretty much our packaging for our Rock figure, man. Nonetheless, I don't want to wait any longer, man, so let's shut the hell up, crack the Rock out of the packaging, and find out what this Ultimate Edition Target exclusive Rock Legends figure is all about. All right, so here's the Ultimate Edition Legends Target Exclusive Rock figure out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying this figure. You know, I do have some things that I am not so happy about with the figure, but that kind of goes in hand with some other stuff that we'll get into, of course. But this figure looks great, man. I love this gear. This is always one of my favorite Rock gears, especially from this era. Love the way it looks. I think that, you know, the last Ultimate Edition we got of him, the first go-around, not like the mo more modern Rock, but this version and era of Rock was really strong. I really enjoyed that figure. And I think they've taken that base and really upgraded upon it, but we won't know any further until we dive into the accessories and things of that nature, man. So with that being said, let's dive into the accessories of the Rock figure, and then we'll shut the hell up and dive into the Rock figure itself. All right, man, so getting into the accessories you get with the Rock figure, you do get a handful of stuff. We get some great-looking head sculpts. You get some cloth goods. You get a microphone, some sunglasses, interchangeable hands, of course. No championship with this guy, as we saw with the first go-around with the Rock Ultimate Edition. And, I mean, hell, he even came up with a second Ultimate Edition Rock, but, but let's take a look at these head sculpts. Now, first, we do have the People's Eyebrow Head Sculpt, which is probably my favorite one. Even though it does look a bit wonky, it still looks pretty damn accurate here, man. He pops that one eye. I think that is so damn good. It looks crazy, man. Like, just look at that head sculpt, man. Oh, look, you cover up this eye, and look, he just looks like a normal pissed-off rock, and then it's like, BAM! But this is a wonderful head sculpt. I love the haircut's nice. The, the likeness is perfect. The sideburns are perfect. This is a great head sculpt. And I don't know which one I like more. Do I like the screaming expression that looks just like him here with the sideburns and stuff, or do I like the people's eyebrow? I really dig the people's eyebrow one, especially if you got sunglasses on him, man. He just looks so good, but this looks just like the rock. Fantastic expression here especially with the screaming head sculpt. I'd really like to see a bald version of this. And then I'd like to see it on like, you know, like the shaved head version or, you know, like the WrestleMania Elite rock that I love so much, that haircut, that would be beautiful. And then the last but not least, you do have this like kind of like smirking rock face, which I do believe may be new. This might be a new head sculpt, but it looks a little bit off to me, not as good as the other two, but it's not terrible. You know, I think it still gets the job done and checks all the boxes, but this might be a rock figure that I buy every time because it's such a good base for anything rock. So if I see this thing, I'm grabbing it, man. Especially if this thing goes on clearance, but I think people are going to be snagging this thing up. I don't think, man, I think if you see this, you need to go ahead and grab it because this is such a perfect rock figure, especially these head sculpts, man. You can fix up so many damn figures. Now, outside of that, we do have the track suit here, which has like a jogging pants, like windbreaker style material. It's got the white stripes down the, the shoulders right there. And I do believe this is when his heel run, right? This is his heel run. And I think he was like either coming off of some sort of cycle or he was currently on one and it gave him like man tits or something. And it was like, but he, he had to like like have surgery done I think to like I don't want to get into the speculation of all that but I do believe the story goes he he was like kind of insecure about his man tits or something and so he put this on and that could be wrong that's just I think the story that I've heard but it worked for a heel rock you know what I'm saying he had the tracksuit shirt and then he had the tracksuit pants and they're both the same exact material they both have the stripes going down and this is awesome you know we kind of saw this a version of this before with like the elite 47 but it wasn't nearly as good as this now it does have velcro on it so it is like a classic shirt and it's oversized and it looks really good on the figure which we'll show in a little bit but this, this is a fantastic accessory, and I'm really glad I threw this in. I was blown away by this at the WrestleMania Superstore. But the, the jogging pants we've seen so many times before. I mean, you could put these on Brock Lesnar. You can put these on The Rock. I mean, this is all money right here for me with The Rock figure and all this stuff, man. This is great for cloth goods on an Ultimate Edition. Now, outside of that, we do get a Raw is War microphone, and it goes all the way around. And uh, I don't think I'm seeing any of that, like, modern... Wait, is that it under there? I think I do see it. The, the modern WWE logo, like, printed underneath the graphic, which isn't the biggest deal, but... It 
at least they put it on all four sides. But it is the Attitude Era Raw is Warmite. And then you do get his gold shades, which are really nice. And they fit the head sculpts pretty decently. You know, you put this on here and you get a little snaggy going on right there. It looks pretty good. They do fit better than that. They're just not in position like that right there. That fits pretty damn nice. And so if you wanted to put these on your rock figure. And my favorite is putting it on the people's eyebrow head sculpt. Because you know the sunglasses are covering it, but you can still see the eyebrow. Holy smokes, that looks like the, the rock. This looks just like the rock. That is freaking magnificent. And then for your interchangeable hands, you do get the wonderful world going round mic holding hands. You do get a pair of fists to beat the hell out of other superstars. Then you have the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard entrance handshaking style hands to, you know, do this. This is like the beginning of the Just Bring It. And then you have the follow through with the Just Bring It. So it's so you can tell people to bring it on. So there it is. So these are the, you know, PlayStation 2 Smackdown Just Bring It hands, which is awesome, which are so good. I love this hand mold. I think these are amazing. This is good stuff. And look at that. You could even do it like cup your hands together. I don't know, like splash in your face or something. I don't know. Anyways. That's your interchangeable hands. All right, so diving into the rock figure, starting out first with the head sculpt, of course. We've already taken a look at it, but damn, isn't it good, man? It looks so freaking good. This is a repeat of that one head sculpt. Now, I'm pretty much in love with this figure, pretty much. I mean, the, this is like a perfect figure for me. I think that all the muscular tone, I think this fits his torso well. However, I cannot tell if this is the... It kind of gives me like Randy Orton Ultimate Edition torso vibes, but I could be wrong about that. It's just like at first glance. Yeah, just like the way this ab is like flat straight across here. I I think it's the Randy Orton Ultimate Edition torso, but the, the arms and shoulders look really good. You get the bicep veins in there. We've seen these arms and shoulders on our Rock Elites. Got the Brahma Bull Tad in there. This is my, like, one of my favorite gears, like I said. However, we have seen this on the Elite. We saw this on the Top Talents Elite. It's got the blue outline with the silver lettering. Exact same trunks as the Elite Top Talents figure with the jersey that it came with. And it's a really good gear. And then you also have the Brahma Bull in the back, so that's really good. Really clean, really nice. Very nostalgic for me. You got the butterfly joints in there, which we did not see on his first go-around of his Ultimate Edition. But then it's just your standard rock legs, knee pads, you know, the signature rock boots. Even though I wish they'd make these like shiny leather because rock's boots were always like shiny leather. But they do a good job of replicating those boots besides the color. Now this figure is damn nice, man. It poses around really well. It's got all the good stuff you want. You got the good butterfly joints in here. He can do, you know. The one thing that I think is an incentive of this is, you know, you can go here. And now he can pretty much like take off his elbow pad. If you wanted to do that, you could do the, you know, the people's elbow. And he can do the cross thing for the the people's elbow right so he can do this and do all that if you wanted to pose him doing that for a pick fed match or a stop motion or just display putting him in the ring things like that you could pose that now which is really nice he can come back further on the rock bottom so now he can come way back here to like slam somebody down which is also very good so there's a lot of good incentives here with disposability on this rock like the upgraded butterfly joints and i think this should be the standard now a lot of people would tell you that they probably just need to add the butterfly joints to an elite torso and that would probably give you a more range of motion and you wouldn't get like those ugly crazy curves Kurt Angle, Eddie Guerrero style torsos and the way that looks, it would get rid of that because then you'd have to stick to elite torsos. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I dig this. The only thing I really don't like is the drop down hips and just because it gets so loose and like you don't know if it's going to snap on you. That's really my only con with this figure that I can find. But getting into rock figure comparisons, I'm going to vomit because I can't find my rock figures, man. I look for 20 to 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to find those rock figures. I looked in every box. I looked in every single box. I know they're here somewhere. I didn't lose them, but right now they are lost, man. I, I can't find them, but we do have the Rock and Sock Connection 2-pack rock, I think, right here. No, maybe this is a, a different rock. Maybe the, the, this isn't the same rock that came in that 2-pack because I feel like that was different. Maybe I just head swapped it. Maybe that is this rock. I just head swapped it. It just looks a bit weird. I think that is that rock. Anyways, we also have the Elite 100 here, but I wanted to get the top talents that's in this exact same gear to show you, and I wanted to show you the first Ultimate Edition because I had it dressed up in... I have the Brahma Bull shirt and and sweatpants on it. And then I also wanted to show you some other stuff. So I'm really pissed off now that I don't have those in this video. It makes me want to vomit. And uh, I'm very disappointed in myself, man. That shit's unacceptable. But that does it for your rock figure comparisons because I can't find nothing. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the WWE Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Legends Rock Action Figure Review, man. Really, really enjoy this figure. I think it took everything from the first version and really upgraded it, made it better. The addition of the butterfly joints. I like the way this torso looks on this rock figure. I think the muscular is nice. The head sculpts are bar none. They're just like the ones from his previous Ultimate from this era. Not Again, not the modern one that we were talking about, but the other version, the first version of the Rock Ultimate. This figure's a beast, man. It really, really is. I really enjoy it. The only thing that I really gripe about is just the ball-jointed legs that have the, you know, the drop-down hips. Just feel like that gets a bit loose sometimes, but that's kind of an Ultimate Edition problem, not really just this figure's problem. But as far as a figure is concerned on should you grab it and, you know, this version of the Rock, this is an absolute must-cop. This is an insta-buy. This is in the 
go buy it section of our rock figure rankings. This is just as good as I thought it would be, and I really enjoy this figure a lot. The track suit is phenomenal, fits on there really nicely. Head sculpts are legit. I mean, this this ticks all the boxes, man. It checks all the boxes for any rock that you could possibly imagine from this era. Just an absolute beast of a figure, man. If you find this figure at retail, you find it at Target, man, you must purchase it. You gotta purchase it, and you need to check your Target stores tomorrow. At the time you're seeing this, you're seeing this on Saturday. Tomorrow, go to Target, see if you can find this figure and purchase it. Before we get out of here, I gotta give a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, and we had a new sign up just the other day. It was to Timothy Cumpy or Cump, or Coomp. I apologize, brother, but huge shout out to Timothy. You're a beast, man. Thank you so much for signing up for the Patreon. Thank you so much for signing up for the Patreon, man. You guys are beasts. Huge love for those guys, as always, but that is gonna wrap up our Amazon Rock figure. This is not an Amazon Rock figure, you big, dumb son of a bitch. But that is gonna wrap up this Target exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Rock review, man. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>